morning, good evening or good afternoon folks. I'm not on a public footpath walk, I've got the cycling helmet on, cycling helmet on, I'm going on a bike ride. Before I say any more, don't forget to like and subscribe. Give me the thumbs up. I'm after your help. Uh, I want you to try and get your friends to subscribe to the channel. So to get the numbers up folks. Now I'm going in my VW, I've got the Nissan Leaf, which is behind me, there, uh, but you can't have a tow bar on that, well, you possibly could, but not to tow anything, so I need a bike rack. Now, I've got my motor home here, and uh, I'll put a bike rack <coughs> on the back of there, I'll show you a better in a sec. <coughs> anyway, <coughs> frog in my throat. Um, I've got the garage in the back of the motor home, but I'm going away soon and I'll need all the space in there. So I've decided to put my bike rack on to give me a bit more room. So I wanted to go out and I thought that's a pain. It means I've got to take it off here, put it on the other one. It's easy enough, but it's hot weather, you don't really want to do it. So I had a thought, actually, I've got two. As you know, I have two of everything. So I've got another bike rack. It's a cheaper one. Those are about 250 quid. I bought it second hand for 100 or so. I'll do you a better shot in a minute. And then I'm gonna show you the other one there as well. So just follow me, folks, follow me. So this is the one on the back of the motor. I'm very pleased with it. It was a little bit battered at the back when I got it. Plus I did back in a wall, it didn't help, but I did put these on just to protect the uh, bikes a bit. Now I'll show you the other one, folks. Yes, yeah, so that's that one. You get four bikes on there. It's me range extender. If I ever want to go anywhere further than uh, the leaf will take me, I've got the old faithful bore. So this uh, bike rack, it just clips on the tow bore. And it's got a couple of arms where you can put you can probably put about three bikes on there so that's all on it's all secure i've got the number plate on the back so i'm ready to go so join me at my destination folks follow me follow me Hi folks, I've just arrived at Tidy Big Church. I'm having to do a voiceover because uh, my wired microphone is uh, playing up. So uh, a bit disappointed. I've, I've ordered a new one, but I'm just showing that there's the boy crack without the boy con. Got me uh, a Tidy Big perfect. Uh, well pleased with that. So uh, okay, let's come and join me on the rest of this video folks follow me hi folks again me mike let me down on this clip but this is a view across uh tardy big uh, the canals down there there was a kissing gate there i was going to do the midweek prayers but there was a girl lay on the grass uh, enjoying the sunshine nearby and uh, i don't know what she would have thought if i started doing me midweek prayers so yeah, so I'm getting the bike all ready now and uh, I'll meet you down at the uh, tidy big top lock, folks. Follow me. Yeah, hi folks, another voiceover. I'm just uh, getting to the uh, towpath now on the bike. There's a nice little spin. Uh, I parked about a quarter of a mile away and uh, I'm looking forward to the uh, ride down the locks so uh, yeah come and join me folks and uh, catch you in a bit hardy big top lock there folks it's a lovely view i've said it before i used to have a boat well i've had three narrow boats this is where i started me training here so it's lovely so yeah so follow me folks as we go on the bike ride follow me it's a gorgeous evening folks just the right time to have a nice little ride out uh, so i thought i'd try the bike rack and try the bike out tonight 
for a change as it's so hot and this is tidy big top lock and that's tidy big church up there folks that's where I've got me wheels the car park there is videos further back on walks and sunsets from up there check the channel out bit of information on the lock here folks as well folks thanks for joining me if your face is a bit shiny i'll put some sun cream on uh, yeah, so this is tidy big top lock and what I used to do when I had my boat When it was part of it, I used to reverse into this lock a bit of a practice and folks used to come along and say Oh well done. You've just done the 32 locks. <laughs> they didn't realize I'd only backed into this one, but don't tell anybody it felt good so uh, Yeah, so I'm now gonna head down there i'm just going to give you a shot of that boat it's covered all the round the boat it's got all the like just look someone's just cut the edge around it let's go and have a look folks follow me yeah so i'm heading down there now folks so it's a scorching evening tonight um lovely we've got to make the most of these nice the nice weather yeah, so I don't know what that's all about there. But it's certainly have a bit of a job to get your boat out. Aye oh, aye oh. Those folks always love to see things like that. Nature at its finest. Lovely. Yeah, hi folks. This used to be the engine house. It was a nightclub and restaurant. Many years ago, I used to go there perhaps two times a week. I had some great nights there. Uh, all the folks from Redditch used to go and had some good times. Uh, so follow me, folks. Follow me. Follow me, folks. Yeah, lovely to be here tonight, folks. Let's have a little zoom down to the bridge. A couple of oil boats on the right. The folks that could smell the dinner. I think they got spaghetti on toast by the sound of it, the smell of it. Anyway, we're going under the bridge. Follow me. There's a lot of locks here, folks and uh, I've been down this way once and I've been back up um, it's hard work but I enjoyed it I went down on my old boat wax on and I come back I traded in with a chap for another one so yeah it was a lovely summer's evening coming back remember it well a nice memory Follow me. This is the tidy big reservoir, folks. It looks very low, the water. Um, it's a lovely view. Absolutely lovely. Ayo. Ayo. Let's go and have a look over there. It's always nice to get a clip of folks so it's a lovely view all free to come on remember that lovely follow me Yeah, hi folks, thanks for 
joining me on the walk so i'm trying to sort my microphone cable out there but yeah yeah thanks for joining me it's absolutely beautiful um and so with the bike it gives me a chance to go a bit further but between me and you i'm a love island fan but keep that to yourself I, I don't watch all of it but i just sort of try and uh, a lot of people watch the void and you like to be in the gossip and know who's in there but uh, i'm having a job to keep up with it but uh, anyway that's another story so i want to be back for love island so my sister likes it uh, in jersey normally uh, everything stops for love island but she's her words types it now anyway yeah thanks for joining me there's a boat coming through the lock now so i'm getting a bit of filming now i'm absolutely loving it once again the bike's going great uh oh you know pleased i've got it so you can't put a price on leisure let's hope it lasts me at least a couple of years or more anyway catch you in a bit folks thanks for joining us follow me the colors over there folks worth a shot it's lovely it's quite quiet as well as so i said there is one boat on its way behind we'll get a look at that in a sec folks just do a little pan around absolutely lovely follow me a lovely bench here in memory of gene oliver 1946 to 2018 who loved this place and she was the sunshine of our lives and that's nice so i think i'm gonna have a little sit down on the bench now myself folks follow me folks there's a boat going through there but uh their first time folks and uh i was talking to the woman and um the uh <laughs> i looked around the chap had fell over and uh there was a girl steering the boat and uh she got a bit of a what I call sour face. I think if she smiled, her face would have cracked. So I decided uh, not to bother to sort of get a clip of that boat. But we'll carry on down. Now, I am at the reservoir here at uh, Tardy Big. And um, I have told this story before, but I'm going to say it quickly because I don't want the videos to go on too long. I was on this day and I won't tell you that story. Now, when I was in the children's home, I was about 11, I came here with the lads and we found a fish. It was a uh, eel uh, dead in, in the reservoir and a boat come through here where I stood or sat and we borrowed the barge pole. We up the fish out, took it back to the chill. Well, we went to stop at the 100 days pub first, which is now a Tesco Express, I think, or Sainsbury's. And uh, they all bought us a shandy, wanted to buy it off us, said no. So we took it to the children's home, you know, we said we caught it, but we hadn't. And uh, lo and behold, they cooked it the next day. And me and the lads uh, were the only ones that didn't eat any, any of it. Anyway, that's another story. Catch you in a bit, folks. Follow me. Yeah, this is lovely just here, folks. The sun's, you know... It's coming to the golden hour. Uh, I'm just going to do a little pan rain. Looks almost like a golf course just there. And if you look back on my videos, I did bring my drone down here. There is one with my drone up. So check that out. It's further back on the channel, folks. There's one on his way up there. Uh, you got black prints uh, their companies down here so you do further down so you do get a lot of people on your boats from there so yeah they'll be through in a minute folks might be able to catch them i'm not sure what that is in the distance folks but that field looks really nice it's just there absolutely gorgeous um yeah the folks that went through earlier they're novices because they didn't shut the gate they so you have to be careful with these like all pounds because if you don't keep the gate shut you can lose all the water down so yeah it's lovely 
Hello folks, I'm just on the top of this little bridge here. I'm keeping it on my bike because I haven't locked it, but there's only a few joggers around, but uh, you have to be careful when you've got something, uh, it don't get pinched, you know. But uh, oh, it's coming handy, the bike rack, tonight. Uh, and I say, it's absolutely lovely down here. And it'd be, with this heat, it'd be a long walk down here. Uh, and that, that little electric bike has been great, you know, uh, it's just been fantastic to get me down here. And it's all, it was all downhill actually, so I'll be having a bit of electric power on the way back up. Just waiting for this boat to come through now folks, we'll get a little clip of that. Follow me. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a private boat or whether it's a higher one. Uh, Matt, I think it's a, possibly a Black Prince boat by them front doors, but my, they usually have women's names of the boats. She's getting her back into it there to get the, uh, oh, she's uh, coming over the other side. Yeah, it's, it is hard work, especially on an evening like this. Yeah, he's just drying the water now down. So they'll empty that lock and it'll be ready for the boat to go straight in. You just take your time. It's good fun. But it can be a bit stiff. It comes. Yeah, it looks like a Black Prince boat. They're pretty good. That's what my boat was. The last one. An excellent. My. Telling the folks ahead, there's two tunnels you've got to go yeah, through. Well, right. actually, there's three. There's a tidy big tunnel, which is not too bad, and there's another one. Then there's called a Wastil tunnel. It takes about 40 minutes wow. to go under that one. Okay, look forward to that. Yeah. I think that's the church at Bromsgrove over there, folks. I've just uh, come off the towpath. There's a public footpath here. A bit upset it's not a kissing gate. But I -O, another day, another walk. Some other time, folks. That looks lovely over there. Lovely tree over there. Follow me. Yeah, that boat's going the other way. Looks like an Alf church hire boat from here, folks. So they're going the other way, heading towards Worcester. This is where I've just come off the little bridge here. It's all looking good, folks. Follow me. Another nice view over there. I'm just going to carry on down the towpath. I'm not going to go much further because I don't want to make the video too long. So let's carry on down folks. Follow me. Yeah, hi folks. Uh, I'm going to start heading back now to my wheels to so go back home. So let's do a little clip here. There's a family on a boat over there, hire boat. That's an old church one and they're together going through the locks, all enjoying themselves. Follow me, I'll see you back at Tidy Big Top Lock folks. 
waterfall and the canal down there we'll just come from. Folks, I'm up by Tardyby Church now. Just going to give you a little pan round where I am. There's the church there, folks, and uh, got the cemetery here. Rest in peace, everybody. Follow me, folks. Folks, I'm going to end the video now. I'm going to go and load the uh, bike back on the rack. Thanks for joining me, appreciate it. I enjoy the company on these walks. Uh, again, I've asked you to ask your friends to get them to subscribe. Let's get the channel built up. Uh, it's been great bike ride, as I said, walk. Don't forget to like and subscribe if I haven't said that. Big hi to everybody, and I'll catch you on the next video, folks. Hi, everyone, and catch you later. Bye for now. Bye, folks. Bye.